three and two after going into the first bye week. Obviously, two top ten teams, and uh, you know, but three gutty wins by your defense. I guess if you had to assess things right now, are you happy where things are at defensively, or where do you stand right now with this with with your group? Uh, I think the thing, just looking at the last week, uh, when you play an opponent like that, it really points out how important paying attention to the little things are, paying attention to the detail, having a sense of urgency to get the little things correct as both coaches and, you know, as players. And so, you know, Coach Bull says in a great way, don't let the same team beat us twice. Mm -hmm. Meaning, let's make sure we get the things we need to get corrected this week as we prepare, one, to get better, and two, for Hawaii, which is going to be a great opportunity for us. So, yeah, it's been, you know, it's been up and down uh, as far as, you know, one week you feel uh, like you're doing a really good job, and the next week you play a, a formal opponent mm -hmm. that points out the things that need to be need to be corrected. So we can take everything we want out of this situation. You know, we can take it, take the positives that came from the game, and certainly things that we got to work on. Mm -hmm. And those things are, hey, when you play quality people, you've got to do a great job. You know, putting good angles to the football. The thing we talked about keeping the cup. Mm -hmm. We got to tackle. I mean, we got to wrap up and grab a hold of people. Good players aren't going to go down. You know, hitting them. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, we got to continue to understand our fits. And hit our fits consistently and making sure that their kids understand where their fits are and continue to improve as, uh, as coaches and as players. Right. Would you say, you know, or what, you know, I know even Coach Bull mentioned no interceptions yet from, from the defense. You forced some turnovers, forced some fumbles. Right. But forcing more turnovers or more big plays like that and even maybe more sacks or more tackles for losses, is that an emphasis? Or what are maybe some of the bigger emphasis? Moving forward as we as we get into conference. Well, I think you brought up about point. Mm -hmm. We need to do a uh, good job of flipping that turnover margin. Mm -hmm. You know, we we need to get, uh, get guys in a position so we can get after them, pass rush, but get the sacks and uh, get the interceptions. You know, against Michigan State, we didn't get them in a third down very often. Mm -hmm. So you're not going to sack them if they're not on third down. Usually, you're not going to intercept the ball. You know, get them in third down. Mm -hmm. um, you got to stop the run first. And so those are two points of emphasis over the next week. That's what a bye week does for you. It enables you really to really focus hard on what are you doing schematically that can improve turnovers, sacks, those kind of things. That's mm -hmm. what we're looking at right now. When you, when you look at the tackling, Steve, are you pleased overall? I mean, look, it, well, overall, are you pleased where your tackling is as a unit, or is that, is that an area well, of concern right now? You know, it's always relative. It's, uh, it's better than it was last year. Mm -hmm. There's no, no doubt about it. You know, and we got to kind of separate three wins from the two, two opponents that we've mm -hmm. lost to. And I think we're still trying to figure out how good are we. You know, you come back from Michigan State and you think, boy, we we, we got a long ways to go. And then you turn on Boise State Air Force and, and uh, Boise, you know, can't score on Air Force and, and uh, can't stop them. Mm -hmm. And so then you kind of start wondering, okay, where are we as we go into our league? And so this is going to be an interesting next couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. We'll kind of figure out where are we. Sure. Um, have, how much have we improved? Uh, this will be a real great test for us. Sure. How do you think the guys, again, I know it's early in the week. You probably haven't seen them much since the last game. Are you pretty confident in this, in your group of guys, that they will they will respond or or to, you know, to you know, your challenges and the coaching staff challenges of what they can be defensively. Are you confident there still? Well, you know, they, they bounce back after Oregon, so we're hopeful that they'll you know, bounce back after this one. Um, you know, it's a different kind of uh, game that we played. Um, you know, you're looking at two different animals between Oregon and Michigan State, mm -hmm. um, but I think our guys will bounce back. I think they'll uh, take advantage of the week off uh, to get better and get themselves ready to go out to Hawaii. 